Congratulations, Glassy. Now you're back home. Everybody been patting you on the back and well done, all Australia. Uh, yeah, a uh, little bit, but got home yesterday and, and um, yeah, had the kids to look after. So the wife was straight out of the house, straight back to the kids, mate. So <laughs> they didn't care. Yeah. How's it feel, you? Darren, coming off the back, obviously, of the disappointment of losing on Oh uh, yeah, look, look, it was a big honour, but it doesn't really change anything. Um, you know, there's no role or, or function to do, and um, you know, so it was a nice honour. But uh, yeah, still, still hurting a bit from the game um, against the Pies. Obviously, the loss was, was pretty tough. So um, yeah, and then being pretty busy as well, just back and forth. So hasn't really sunk in yet. Have you um, reviewed your contractual status for the club? Asked for a new five-year deal? <laughs> no, no, mate. I'll, um, Got one year to go. I'm signed for next year, aren't I? Yeah. Um, so one year to go, and, and we'll see how we go after that. The fact of being named captain, though, yeah. is a pretty big honour. And a lot of people say that people over in the West or whatever miss out sometimes on those opportunities. You must have had a huge impact on the competition. Um, yeah, look, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I wasn't involved in the process. Um, so. Yeah, I think uh, people, you know, have got a lot of respect for West Coast. I like to think that, and and, um, and I'm really pr- proud to be part of the club, and you know, I think it's a great club. Great well, reward for you for all the hard work you've done to, to not just you, but you uh, turning this club around. Uh, no, look, it took a whole effort from all the player group, from everyone at the football club, um, you know, to bounce back. But um, yeah, we went far away. You know, we had a few things go wrong, and and. Um, but this club has been a successful club for a long period of time. So, um, you know, it really was a club-wide effort to turn things around. So I see two, three years ago it was tough. You're going through a pretty tough period as a club, as a, as a group. Yeah. Um, did you ever contemplate at that time that uh, you'd ever see days like this in a short period of time? And also from an individual point of view, what you've achieved? Um, oh, yeah, look, I was confident the club would turn, uh, turn things around. Um, you know, so we had that one bad year, but before that we'd been building, we had a few injuries and, um, you know, we had some things go wrong, but I was confident we'd be back um, back near the top pretty quick. Because there was a speculation during those periods of whether Glassy would, would continue on. Uh, did you ever contemplate your future at that time? Not really, no. You, um, you know, when you're in footy, you're pretty focused and, you know, you're getting better each day, training hard, so you don't really think, you know, too much about um, two or three years' time, but uh, no, I know I was pretty, um, uh, always pretty confident that we'd bounce back. Is it how much impact were you have on Craig Lynch and whether he stays? Will you go to him as captain and talk to him about staying on? Um, look, I've, yeah, I've chatted to Lynchy and, and, and um, you know, tried to have a chat to him about what you know what his situation is, and, and uh, you know, nothing's black and white, and. and um, you know, we'd love Lynch to stay, but um, by the same token, he he has to do what's right for him. There's a general feeling that he may move on. Do you have a leaning either way from your talks with him? Ah, uh, look, I'm not sure either, so I don't know. Is it is it hard? Like some, most people probably see free agency as great because you yeah. can extend your career, but for him, it could actually work the opposite way because he probably wants to stay here, but given only a one-year deal, he might have to go somewhere else to extend his career. Uh, yeah, look, that's just the nature of it. I think everyone's aware of that. Um, you know, he wants to play footy for as long as he can, and, and um, that's understandable. And, and uh, yeah, but there's still every chance he could stay as well. So um, that'll play out, I guess, over the next month. Darren, all Australian selection suggests you're still at your peak. Do you feel that way? Do you feel the footy you're playing now is as good? Um, yeah, look, I'm not really. I don't know. It's, I don't really sit back and you know wonder what I was playing like you know four or five years ago, or let alone last week. It's all about next year now for me, and I feel like I can get better and I'll go away over the summer and try to improve again. Trevor spoke about Trevor Nisbet spoke about hoping you could go on for two years or maybe even longer. Where yeah. do you sit with all of that? Do you feel like you could go two years or, or even beyond that? Yeah, really, just play next year and then make a call. Um, you know, with the club probably. I'd say later in the year, three quarters of the way through the year. Um, we've got, you know, Eric McKenzie playing great footy, Will Schofield, Mitch Brown, so we've got um, great depth in, you know, the tall, tall defender department. So, so Glassy, would your individual form or the, where the club's position this time next year determine whether you go on or not? Uh, I can imagine both good, yeah. So, um, uh, you know, hopefully we're back up near the top of the ladder and, and, and um, putting our best team in the park every week and, you know, trying to win a flag. That's hopefully where we're at next year and, and um, 
uh, yeah, but I'm confident there'll be plenty of improvement from all the boys over the summer. The number of All-Australians uh, this season, is that a good sign for the club? Um, yeah, I guess, yeah. So, um, uh, you know, hopefully we've got some go um, more guys pushing up next year. Um, you know, hopefully we get guys like Gaff and Shuey and Scotty Selwood, um, um, Josh Kennedy, Mark Lacrasse. So hopefully we have a few more pushing again next year. Being the captain, who would you pick as your number one? Ruck, Nick Nananui or Dean Cox? Um, I'm pretty happy with both of them in the team, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with Nick as the number one and Coxie is our forward pocket. That was a good Coxie result. A little bit of flack from you boys about being a forward pocket in your Australian team. But said this morning on the radio that you boys have been ribbing him a little bit for uh, being a forward pocket. Um, no, not too much. No, it's a pretty big effort, I reckon. So um, he's the biggest forward pocket I've ever seen. So um, he's doing well. Lastly, dare we ask if uh, will you be captain next year? Uh, yeah, look, like I've kind of spoken about before, it's not really mine to um, you know hold on to or to give away. Every year we vote, and, and, and unless the club moves away from that, then that's what will happen again. So um, you know, I, I'm happy with whatever the players decide. Are you keen to be captain though? Would you like to continue on with a Premiership Cup maybe 12 months away? Um, no, look, I'm, I'm keen to continue on if the players want me to, if the club wants me to, um, then yeah. But by the same token, if they think it's time that a younger player took over and, and I can help them out um, in a kind of mentoring role, then I'll be very comfortable with that as well. People have said that you've been the best Eagles captain ever, apart from being a decent bloke. <laughs> what makes you a... Why do people sort of talk in those for you. I don't know, you're best off asking them, mate. There but must be something. we've had, um, you know, I've played under Juddy, um, obviously get coached by Wusher, who held up two Premiership Cups. So, yeah, I'm not really comfortable with those comparisons. What do West Coast need for next season to go a couple of steps further? Um, yeah, I think, you know, we, we clearly need to improve, um, you know, probably um, all over the ground, really, I think. I think offensively, we need to get better. Defensively, um, I think you'll see. You know, we've got a good group through the midfield of younger younger mids that will improve over the summer. Um, Gaff, Shuey, Scotty Selwood, um, Matty Rosa. So I think the group's going to come back pretty hungry and you'll see some individuals improve, which will get us, you know, hopefully, um, you know, be able to take us further next year. Better run with injury, obviously, would be a key factor. So did you feel like maybe <coughs> the stars lined up against you a little bit from the outset this year with Lacra going down and Josh missing? Yeah, so much time Yeah, not really, no. Um, you know, injuries will happen again next year for us as well. Um, but certainly they did happen to some key personnel this year, but, um, you know, there's every chance that we'll be missing some key players again next year at some stage, and, and uh, I think we've got the depth to cover it. Who, who wins now? I think the Hawks will win. Um, I think clearly, you know, Sydney and Hawthorne are in the box seat and, and uh, I think that's the way the grand final will go, but I think the Hawks will get up. How tough is it to win finals now with the, the way the game is played, if you have to play more times than your opponent, if you have to play off a shorter break than the opponent with more travel than the opponent? Is it getting tougher do you? Um, I don't think it's getting tougher, no. It's, I think it's always been pretty tough. Um, you know, ideally you'd love to be playing at home, ideally you'd love, you know, a bigger break, but um, they're not essential. I think, you know, we won in 06 losing our first final at home, Sydney did it the year before, um, so yeah, look, it's not, you know, the, you know, the real focus and the real um, best spot to be in is top four, clearly, and top two even better than that, so that'll be the focus next year. Have you got any plans for the off-season? Uh, just a bit of time off, mate, a bit of time away, a um, uh, bit of time with the kids and wife. Is, is your body fine? Do you need surgery or anything like that? Or you... No, no surgery, feeling good. Yeah.